Hey guys, Matt here with Carolina Coupes, and in this video, we are going to do a walk around of the custom coupe we just finished up in Santa Barbara, California. So, I have to go ahead and apologize. Unfortunately, we were unable to do a video like we normally do for this chicken coupe. Uh, we were only allowed to take pictures and even then we had to kick and scream to get permission for the pictures So what I'm gonna do in this video is hopefully make a video using the pictures and do the best I can to explain this beautiful custom chicken coop So here we're looking at the hen house and the footprint is eight foot by eight foot the sidewalls are nine foot and from the bottom of the hen house to the peak of the cupola is a total of 13 foot the overall length of the chicken coop is 40 foot and the width of the run is 8 foot. The total run length is 32 foot long and what we had to do with this coop is actually drop it into three sections of 128 inches long. The side walls are 6 foot tall and from the bottom of the run to the peak is 8 foot tall. So one of the things that makes this chicken coop very unique is we had to drop the run twice and gives us three different elevations to the overall footprint of the chicken coop. From the back of the hen house coming forward to the end of the run, the grade of the land actually dropped 48 inches. So what we decided to do instead of having a coop 48 inches tall at the end of the run we decided to drop the overall coop twice 16 inches and what that did is that gave us a ending base of 16 inches tall which allowed the landscapers to come in later and actually bring up the grade and this was what i thought a great solution for part of the property that wasn't being used and allowed us to actually put a very large structure you know the overall footprint of this coop is actually 40 foot long and by dropping it twice it'll I think fit the land perfectly the main door to the chicken coop is a standard exterior door standing 80 inches tall here we're looking at the back side of the chicken coop and basically those are our normal standard hen house doors along with the deep litter door. Here is our standard three gang egg hutch. Inside there is three nest boxes and also what you'll see is one of the windows to allow ventilation into the hen house. As for the paint, this is actually a color called Navajo White and the roofing is metal it is our standard metal roofing and the color is called burnish slate here's the dutch door which allows you to get into the run one of the nice things about having a dutch door is if you are not able to let your chickens free range and you just want to throw say table scraps into the run you can just open the top half and not usually worry about your chickens getting out also another thing is if you have a dog that you want to be able to keep out of the run that isn't able to jump over top of the uh, bottom half of the door you can just keep the top half open and let the girls come and go as they please here's a look at the inside of the run remember the side walls are six foot tall and at the peak is eight foot giving you almost eight foot of headroom Here's a water bar that we custom made on site. This water bar is actually designed to hook directly to the city water. And because of that, what we have done is installed a inline filter along with a pressure regulator. And the reason for that is most city waters are, you know, usually around 60 to 70 PSI. And you don't want that much water pressure coming to either horizontal nipples or in this case drinking cups because it's just too much pressure. So what you have to do is have the pressure regulator bring it down to, in this case with cups, I believe it was about 10 PSI. Right now you're looking at the inside of the chicken coop hen house area. Right now we're standing in the storage shed area looking at another set of double doors to get access to the inside section of the hen house. Uh, here's a shot looking up. Basically, I guess just showing that the cupola is fully functional, which is great for ventilation. 
Also, one of the most popular things about the Craftsman style chicken coop is all the wonderful storage. And here you can see the pull-out drawers. On the opposite side of the hen house, we have two windows, one on each side of the human door. And here is an example of how you can open and close the window so you can con control cold air coming in or allowing lots of ventilation, especially during the warmer months. Now it's like we're sitting on the floor of the hen house looking up at two roost bars and beyond the two roost bars is the other side of the fully functional cupola. This is one of our standard chicken ladders that we use in all our hen houses so that if you have those special chickens that need a little extra help getting out the chicken door they can easily use this ladder. Here's the inside look of the three gang egg hutch. We have the perch bar on the front of the egg hutch. So again, if you have any of those special chickens that need extra help getting in and out, they can easily hop up on the perch bar and get easy access to the inside of the egg hutch. So I'm afraid to say, but I guess that's all I have. Um, again, I hate the fact that we weren't able to do a full walk around video and kind of capture more details about this chicken coop. Um, hopefully uh, this video did do a good enough job showing the customizations uh, but also the things that are you know standard with all our chicken coops and here are just a bunch of you know I guess behind the scenes pictures and there was many many pictures many stories again it just it sucked we couldn't catch them all on video but basically it was, it was you know a great project I'm so happy and thankful that we were able to you know, go out to California, build this beautiful chicken coop, uh, adapt the coop to the land, be able to drop these sections down, and, you know, just have a good time. I always tell people, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I have one of the best offices ever to work in and a great crew on the road uh, and in the shop to help build these coops and make it all possible out in the field. So again, I hope you guys watched the video and that you enjoyed it. And if you made it this far, please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, also hit that notifications bell so you know when we have new videos coming out. And of course, you know, check us out on Facebook, Instagram. I think we're on Twitter as well. And you can always check us out at carolinacoops.com or give us a call 919-794-3989. Thanks for watching.